Hi guys, it's Cindy aka Disney Queen. Today we are going to do who Today I am going to share my Disney bag collection with you. And let's just say I didn't realize I had as many bags as I actually do. I'm looking down here and it's like, oh my goodness. Um, so I have been promising this for a while. It took me a while to get everything together. Um, and then in the midst of that, I found a new bag. <laughs> um, I realized I have a bag problem, but I will say this. These bags I have collected over a period of probably about 10 if not more years of going to Disney or planning for Disney trips. And so, yeah, I'm going to be showing you my totes, my handbags, my wallets, um, uh, my suitcase and travel bags, all that are Disney themed. Okay, so first we are going to open up my newest bag. Um, after seeing what I have laid out in front of me, I feel like Cindy, you do not need to buy any more bags anytime soon. I didn't think that I would be one of those people that could have like a shelf full of bags, but looking at this, yeah, it's a lot. So, um, where did I get this from? This came from a company called, hmm, oh, there's a thing in here. I can't remember where I got this bag from. Okay, so I didn't get this bag from Loungefly. I got it from like a third party um, Disney uh, site. And um, this bag is actually pretty old. The Okay, so this is the thing. I saw this bag probably about five or six years ago. And at the time, I wanna say it was it was retailing for about $50 and it's a small, um, it's like a small crossbody bag. And I just didn't see spending $50 on a crossbody bag. Um, but I, as soon as you'll see it, you'll, you'll say, oh yeah, that's your kind of bag. Um, but it's when, from the moment I saw it, I wanted it, but I just wasn't willing to pay the price for it. And then it kind of went off the market and it was not sold anymore. And so I was actually shocked when just one day I just happened to be, I think I was watching Pixie Ducks and Peaches. That girl will get you in trouble. I was watching one of her videos and she named a site that I had not ever heard of. And so I went and checked them out and shock, surprise, this bag was up there. And I was like, oh my goodness. Okay, but so this is why I ended up getting it. Um, it was not... $50 or more. It was $19.99. And at $19.99, I just couldn't leave it there. I just had to bring it home. So this is the first thing I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to show you my bag collection because yeah, there's a lot of bags. Um, I will say this. I don't just use my bags for when I go on Disney trips. I did that in the beginning, but over time I'm like, no, I want to use my bags. So I, I take my, I wear my bags to church. I wear it to the grocery store. I wear it when I go traveling. I wear it to Disney. You will see me wearing my Disney bags on more than, you'll see me with Disney bags everywhere. You won't just see me wearing it to Disney. I, it's like a regular part of my life and I'm okay with that. And if other people are not okay with that, well, that's that's their personal issue. Anyway, but anyway, let's get to the bag. Okay, so. I'm just now taking this. I have probably had this bag now for a month, if not longer. But I'm just now taking it out of the box for the first time. I haven't looked inside of it. I don't think it has anything special inside of it. It is a lounge fly bag. And you guys know um, it takes a lot for me to get a lounge fly bag because, yeah, they're expensive. Um, so if I get one, it's usually like on sale. I'm like, does it have the price on here? It doesn't show the original price. But this is the bag. I remember 
watching Instagram and seeing all of the young influencers carrying this bag around the parks. And I was just like, this is the cutest bag. You guys know I love Minnie Mouse, anything Minnie Mouse, like anything Mickey Mouse. Um, I'm usually not a red, like red is not my color, but it is just something about Mickey and Minnie that makes me buy things that are red. Um, I don't know why, except for maybe my love for Disney. But anyway, so this is a Minnie Mouse crossbody bag. It is not very big. As a matter of fact, if you look on the back of it, like this is the bag. That's how small it is. And that's why I couldn't see spending $50 on this bag. But I could see spending $19.99. You know, I just remember, I have another bag. When I was pulling out my bags, I cannot find that bag. Hmm. I'm going to have to maybe find the video for that bag. I'm like, where is that bag at? I don't know. Oh, now that's going to bug me because I don't know where it is. But anyway, it is a Disney Lounge Fly bag. Here is the logo. It does have the official tag so on. And so it wasn't like um, a used bag. It's brand new. It still has like the cardboard in the top. It has the mini um, bow on it and the ears. And it has these cute little studs that are, yeah, they're Mickey heads. Oh my goodness, I love it. It has a chain um, strap. It is a crossbody. Um, what can I say? Yeah, this is a cute bag. I could only see maybe using this like in the afternoon in the park when you're just going in, you need your ID, um, you need uh, your phone and maybe some chapstick, lipstick, whatever. I mean, you're not gonna really get much more in here. So uh, let's see, I've never seen the inside of this bag. I will say there is a, there is a matching wallet I'm like is that my wallet no but there is a matching wallet and there is a matching backpack but out of the three I knew from the beginning that I always wanted the small crossbody bag so let's look inside I think I want to say when oh ooh. I was gonna say when they were making when this these are like one, one of the first bags that I knew about that were lounge fly bags and I don't think I paid much attention to the fact that most lounge fly bags had a pattern on the inside. So I, didn't, I don't know why I thought this one didn't have a pattern, but it does have a pattern. And this is the inside of it. Oh my gosh, it's little, it's Minnie Mouse um, polka dots. It is so cute. Okay, it doesn't have any other zip pocket or little pockets on the side. Um, it's just too small for that, but it is cute as a button and i don't have a big phone so i believe that my phone can fit in this which just makes me happy um yeah i'll be wearing this like if i'm just running to the store with you know to grab something quick i could see me carrying this bag it is so cute i'm so glad that i got this i can't believe i waited this long to open it but i love this bag okay so yeah that's my newest lounge fly bag <laughs> and i need to stop buying bags <laughs> okay so now let's get down to the nitty-gritty uh let's see where do i start okay i have maybe three disney backpacks um my husband actually has one of them with him I will insert a picture it has become like his bag his backpack that he takes with him when he goes to like his um appoint doctor's appointments or if he has to go out um to a physical therapy appointment this bag has become like his bag and one day i may tell you the story about this particular backpack um <laughs> but it was a it was a gift from a friend and yeah one day maybe we'll talk about how i ended up with this backpack but i will insert a picture of the backpack because like i said right now he is at a physical therapy appointment and he's using it the other backpack that i have was the first disney was it the first disney backpack i brought this backpack on our very last trip to disney um it was one of those things where you could get like um, if you buy three items or if you spend this much money, then you get the backpack or 
beach towels or whatever for 15 or I want to say maybe this was $25. I don't even think it was $25. But anyway, so this is my Walt Disney World backpack. I love this bag. I use it all the time. I use it when we travel. It has like a ton of pockets. Um, it has a big compartment for you to put things in. Like this is a work backpack. We use it all the time. As a matter of fact, I probably need to get my sister to like um, fix one of my straps because it's got some wear and tear because it's used. It's well used, well loved. I love this bag. I can carry so much in it and yeah, it's held up really good. What I really like about it, like I said, it's got a ton of pockets. It's got um, bottle holders on each side. A lot of backpacks don't come with bottle holders anymore, but this one, um, yeah, it, it was it was something that I thought, oh, I'll use it every once in a while, but I have used this backpack to death. Um, the other backpack that I have is um, this little small red, white, and blue one that I got a couple of years ago. Um, I kind of use this one myself when I don't need anything like heavy duty. Um, like I said, my the one that my husband has, that is my third backpack, and he uses that one a lot. It's only got like this big pocket here and it does have a place where you can put like your laptop. Okay, so I think that is like the backpacks. What do I want to do next? So I have tote bags. Um, I want to say that most of my tote bags came from the character warehouse in Florida. Uh, and these tote bags I have had forever. I can't even tell you how old they are, but yeah, we've had them for a while. So one of the first ones that I ever got was this one. And this one is so worn that like it has stains and stuff on it, but like it is a, it's a great tote bag. Um, this is it. It's got Walt Disney World on it. It doesn't have like the year on it. No, it says Disney World. So, no, it says Walt Disney World. It says Walt Disney World. Um, it's got, um, let's see. It doesn't have any like pockets inside. It's just an open tote to carry things in. And usually I would end up with a tote because we were getting ready to go home and we had brought a lot of stuff and we needed something to put extra stuff in. I will say I have worn this one out. I take it on car trips. When I go stay with my moms, I will stuff extra stuff in them. Uh, I really love my tote bags. This is my second tote bag. And this one, I want to say this one I might have actually gotten from Epcot because it was on sale. <laughs> You guys know I'm all about that bargain. And so uh, I use this one a lot too. I use it um, just for everyday use. If I'm doing something at church and I need to take a bunch of stuff, I'll just toss it into a, a tote bag. I'm telling you guys, I use my Disney bags year round. It does not matter if I'm going to the parks or not. There's probably a tote. Um, it's, there's probably something Disney related. And then the third one, I I actually use this one to keep like um, hair products and <laughs> extra hair products and things in, like things for my hair. Um, it actually has like a little snap closure. Um, does it have a pocket on the inside? No, it doesn't have a pocket on the inside, but it has a pocket on the outside. So this one I had because my husband saw it at the parks. He got it for a discount. No, he saw it. This one he got at the character warehouse. I do know for sure he got this. And it was like maybe $11. It is a really well-made tote bag. Um, has a little flat pocket and then it says Walt Disney World on it. It has Mickey Mouse on it. And um, the straps even have like um, the logo on it. Uh, he brought a bunch of these to give to some ladies at our church that he wanted to thank um, for being so good to me and uh <laughs> and then of course i had to have one too so inside of my tote bags i think i think those are the only tote bags yes yes yeah, so, so i move before i move on to the next thing so um i have lots of little bags and 
So I have these two ID cards holders. Uh, I got these on Amazon. It says happy dreams on the back and it has like a lanyard, lanyard, it has a lanyard. Um, it has like a little hidden Mickey right there. You can put your ID in it. It has a little zip part on the side that you can put like some change or you can just, um, I think you put the ID, yeah, you put the ID back here in the back. So I have one in black for my husband. I have one in red for me. We were supposed to use it on our very next trip. We haven't gone on a trip, so they haven't been used. So now technically this is a tote bag, but it's like a little purse and it's like a little gingham. It's like a cross, like a quilted quilt patch um, tote bag. I wanna say I got this at a character warehouse and which means I didn't pay too much for it. It's just a plain little strap. Um, it doesn't have any snaps. It's got an aqua. My favorite, one of my favorite colors is aqua on the inside. But if you look really close, it has Mickey Mouse heads all over it. I love this. And I have the matching wallet to go with it. Now I don't have a lot of wallets. Um, from Disney uh, or you know like from or Disney themed wallets but I have a lot of little little bags uh, so uh, this bag is technically like a little purse it was given to me by a friend years ago she knew I love Cinderella and she sent this to me as a gift I'm want to say maybe it was a swap or maybe it wasn't um she also sent me like a little um lip gloss lip lipstick case that was cinderella themed and then she sent me a little travel cosmetic bag that is disney um cinderella themed and Guys, I'm telling you, this right here, this is probably, this. these items from Cinderella are probably 20 years old, um, but I've still kept them. And then like a little tote bag that was Cinderella themed. And for a long time, I had like um, curlers. I use my bags, guys. I use my bags. That's all I can say. Um, let's see, what is next? Okay, in this tote bag, what do I have? So I have a lot of travel bags that are Disney themed um this is a Mickey Mouse like a cosmetic bag that but I keep medicine in it and it's got a Mickey Mickey ears on it and this was from Target and like I said when we travel I put medicine in that um this was from a friend who gave me a Primark um collection uh, well Okay, so basically she was, they went to England to visit and I asked her, could she bring me back a, a backpack from Primark if they had a chance to go to Primark? And I had every intention of, of paying for it. I just told her to just let me know how much it cost. Um, but I had seen Primark uh, uh shopping videos and i was like oh my gosh i wish we had a primark here we don't we i don't know if i'll ever get to england it is on my bucket list of places to go um but um they came back they brought me a backpack which i'm going to show you and they brought me a i guess over there they call it like a wash bag so there is another bag but it does actually have toiletries in it so i'll just have to insert a picture of that And then this was inside. It says, oh boy, he's got Mickey's pants and his shoe. Um, and I keep um, an extension cord for when I travel in there. And then sometimes I put extra cords in, in this bag. Um, I have this little pouch that I put my Disney jewelry in when I am traveling. I have this um, extra bag that I put like um, chargers and um, cords in for when I'm traveling. Um, and it's this one is from Target also. And see, it's got little Mickey heads on it. And it's got like a little Mickey um, 
hard wear on the end. And I think that is it as far as that's concerned. So speaking of traveling, I finally own a Disney um, suitcase. I think I might have to put like a playlist of all of my bag videos um, because I did do a video about this particular bag. So I'm just gonna show it briefly. If you wanna see more about it, um, I will put a link below. Um, this is my Disney um, carry-on bag. I have not gone on a plane to use a carry-on bag yet, um, but I have used it for traveling and I, I, I love it. I wish I had, I wish they had made this in a larger size so that I could have a set, but they didn't. Um, okay, now what is next? Guys, I'm telling you, I got a bazillion bag. I have a couple of more small wallets. I have this little Mickey Mouse wallet. Um, it's like a little coin purse. This is also from Primark. It came in the wash bag that my friends brought me back from England. Uh, I have this Tiana's um, Palace coin purse that I got in a swap um, from Mickey's Girls. And I have... I have this little small um, crossbody bag uh, that I got at a Walmart in Florida, uh, and it's got Minnie Mouse on it. I have not used it. It still has a tag on it. Uh, maybe one day soon, I'll get a chance to do, use it. I have this crossbody bag that I got off of uh, eBay or Amazon. I think I got it off of eBay. Um, and I have actually used this bag. Like when we were in truly in lockdown and we were only going to the grocery store, um, I didn't want, I wanted my hands to be free. I wanted to be able to carry like a mask and some hand sanitizer, tissues, things like that. And I carried this bag around with my wallet and my phone and that was all I had. It's just a simple little bag. Um, I do tr try to keep stuffing in my bags to kind of keep them in good condition. Uh, let's see. Okay. So then also speaking of wallets, this is my Disney Lounge Fly Minnie Mouse, um, wallet. I love this wallet. I don't get to use it as much as I thought I would because I'm not really going anywhere. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna make sure my stuff is not showing. It, okay. It has white polka dots on the inside. That is a lounge fly um, plaque on the back. It's got a cute red bow and it says Minnie Mouse on it. Um, this is a strap that I made and I put on the end of it so that I could just carry it around like this. Um, it's got plenty of places for your cards. It's got a uh, area in the middle for change that is also polka dot and yeah one of my first lounge fly purchases was this wallet okay let's see here okay now let's get to some backpacks where should we start okay before we do the pack backpack i do have a couple of just regular tote bags um i don't even know where i got this particular bag um, but I have loved this bag from the moment I have it. It's really like a winter bag. And this is my Mickey Mouse tote bag. It is so cute. It is navy blue. It's got like a uh, textured pattern on the side. It's got, it. it is so cute. It's Mickey Mouse with a little bow. Um, then there's like little suspenders. It's got plaid at the bottom. Um, this is the back of it. It's just a simple tote. I do use this a lot in the winter time. It's got like a little calculator Mickey Mouse head up here at the top, but it came with accessories. It's zippered. Um, let's see. It's got like little beads on the end of it. I love this bag, guys. It has a little uh, cosmetic bag on the inside. Um, that you can use 
has that same little Mickey with the calculator and with the little bow. And then it had like an eyeglass case with eyeglasses on it and a Mickey head. It's got plaid on the back. Guys, this is like one of my very first big, I don't even think I paid that much for it. I wish I could remember where I got this, but I love this little set. It like, when I wear it with jeans, I will wear it to church. Like, I love this bag. I don't know what else to say about it. Let's see, what is next? So then my next couple of tote bags, of course, I recently opened this one up and you guys saw it. I love it. I have used it since I opened it. This is my Minnie Mouse polka dot jean bag. Um, it's got a Minnie Mouse tag on it. Um, it has her bow in silver, it says Minnie Mouse. It's got a black strap. It is a crossbody, but I use it as a tote and just put it over my arm. Um, the inside of it, oh, and it is lounge fly. It is a lounge fly bag, and that's my hand sanitizer on the back of it. It's Minnie Mouse. Um, inside what is the pattern inside i love the silver hardware oh yeah so the pattern on the inside is Minnie Mouse. i don't know if you can see her it is so cute it's like a black and white um pattern love 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 this bag um I think it was one of the first bags that I wore when we went back to church last month. Um, love this bag. One of the first lounge fly bags that I ever got um, was this bag. And guys, none of my bags have I ever paid full price for. Um, I just can't do it. This, I love this tote bag. It is one that I looked at almost as long as I looked at the miniature um, Minnie Mouse crossbody bag. It is bright red. It has a Minnie Mouse tag on it. It's got the cutest hardware, beautiful black handle. It has Minnie Mouse, um, no, it says Minnie and Mickey with a heart embossed in it. It is not written on, it is um, embellished into the bag. This is the back of the bag. Look how cute the heads are on it. And then inside is, I think this is one of the few plain insides of a lounge fly bag. Wait, is this a lounge fly bag? Maybe this isn't a lounge fly bag. You know what? I don't know. It does not have a lounge fly logo on it, but I'm telling you, I really thought this was a lounge fly bag. Somebody will have to tell me. Hmm, maybe it's not a lounge fly bag. Interesting. I'm gonna have to go back and do some research. I don't know why I thought it was. Uh, but it matter. I mean, I really do believe it's a lounge fly bag. Maybe it was because it was like maybe one of the first ones they did, and maybe it just does they just don't put the the plaque on the back of it. Unless I have one that's not really a real but it doesn't matter to me. I love this bag. It came with a dust ruffle. I wish they all came with a dust ruffle. But it came with a Minnie Mouse um, dust ruffle. One of my favorite purchases. All right, almost done. This particular bag is my Primark, Primark bag. It says um, London on it. It has the London flag. It has Mickey ears. Um, I have like a little... Um, it is a, it's got thick straps. That is my little um, hand sanitizer. Everybody, you know, you gotta have your hand sanitizer when you go out now. It's got the cutest little um, hardware on the end of the zipper. It is very plain inside. It's just plain black. It's got a zipper pocket. It doesn't have another pocket. It just has a zipper pocket. And then of course it has like the little um, pocket here in the front. And does it have doesn't have any pockets on the side but i love this bag this was the bag that my friends brought me back from when they visited england and i have worn this i thought by now i would be wearing it to a park that has not happened but 
I'm not going to get upset about it. Okay. This is a lounge fly bag. It does have a lounge fly logo on it. <laughs> and this bag I got from Barnes and Noble. And it has Donald Duck on it. And this guy's, this bag holds so much stuff. It's ridiculous. It's got a comfortable strap on the back. It's plain on the back. But on the front, it has Donald Duck on it. And then, like I said, it has the Donald Duck logo. It has this little strap at the top. On the inside of it, it's got the bright yellow polka dots. I did not think that I would love this bag as much as I do, but I have used it several times because it's navy blue. It goes with a lot of the stuff that I wear. It has a little bit of aqua in it. It is a good all around day bed day bag and i do use it all right yeah guys this is gonna be a long one all right so the story behind this particular bag is i saw this bag on facebook and i just posted I, oh my gosh i would really love to have a bag like this and one of my church members saw my post and she ordered it for me as a birthday gift i took this bag to disney when we went four years ago and I love it it is very unique very different I have not seen a lot of people with this bag um, it is a um, backpack and it has gold hardware it has a really really deep deep um, inner pocket it has a pocket in the middle I think it doesn't have a zip it does have a zip on the back um, it doesn't say having you know it doesn't say Disney at all, but it does have the Disney um, wording in letters. Uh, and then this little part in the front has a Mickey head on it. And it's a pocket that you can open up to put things in. I carried everything that I needed for the parks in this bag. Now it, it does have a little wear, but I have worn this to church. It is very, um, like if you didn't see this, you wouldn't know it was a Disney bag unless you got up close to it. But I love this backpack. All right, only two more bags to go. Three more bags to go. This backpack. Okay, this backpack is from Dis Shop Disney. Guys, I know everybody loves lounge fly bags and I understand that. Um, but lounge fly bags can get expensive. So I'm always on the lookout for just a regular Disney bag on Shop Disney. And when I saw this bag, I thought it was so cute. I do believe it's like a child's bag. Um, the original price was $24.99. I think I got it on sale. Um, but it's all of the Fab Five. I, I have worn this um, during lockdown. Uh, when I went to go see my mom, my nieces loved it. Like, I guess the bright colors and everything. It is so cute. It's like looking at a cartoon. It doesn't have any pockets on the side. Um, but it's about the same size as an average lounge fly bag. Um, it's got white hardware. It doesn't have anything fancy on the inside. It's just got a red lining. And it doesn't have a pocket. Like I said, I think this is a child's bag but it does have a pocket in the front and it can hold what you need for at the box and it's lightweight and it's wipeable so if you spill a little something on it all you have to do is wipe it i love this bag at the same time that i got that bag i got this bag and this bag has stuff in it because i use this bag all the time it is a backpack it's bright red it has a mickey mouse logo on the front it's got a zip pocket um the zipper on it like as you can see it's got stuff in it oh i forgot about this so this is from my friend karen's usa adventures one of her um, enchanted mysteries boxes uh this wallet and i have been using this wallet like crazy it has a place on the back for cards it has um, a coin purse with a little gold Mickey on it that you can put your coins in. Uh, 
Um, I have been using this all summer long. I love it. It has Mickey and Minnie on the front. I think they're holding, they're holding hands. This is from Primark and it has held up all summer long. So just so you know, it is very, very good. All right, guys, we're getting to the last one. Okay, this was my last lounge fly unboxing. And I, I took it out, videotaped it, and put it back in the bag. I have not worn it anywhere yet. Um, but this bag, yeah, this is another bag I saw watching Pixie Dust and Peaches. Like I said, it should get you in trouble. I, I put all of the plastic and everything back on it. It is the cutest tote bag. It can be used as a crossbody, but I have not used it as a crossbody. Um, it's very plain up at the top, but inside is like, wow, look at the pattern on that. It's Mickey Mouse. It is so cute. And then on the back, there's a lounge fly logo and it says, oh boy, it is ridiculously cute. And I want to say this, it doesn't say what this retail for, but I only spent $25 on it. And that's not what it was selling for at first. So, whew, guys, that is my Disney handbag, suitcase, wallet, you name it, collection. I did not realize that I had so many bags, but they each have a story. I love each one of them for different reasons. I use my bags. They do not just sit. Um, I do change them out and use them. I do have a few that like I have brought because we were supposed to have gone on a trip uh, two years ago and then Marcus um, had a stroke and that didn't happen. Um, but I know at some point I'm gonna make it back to Disney one day and then I'm gonna be able to carry. I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to drive so that I can use some of my bags. <laughs> I can't take all these bags on a plane but anyway that is my Disney handbag collection I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and if you want to know when the next video will come out all you have to do is hit that little notification bell below so until I see you the next time you guys have a blessed day oh my gosh I've got to now go put all of this stuff away <laughs> I'll see you later guys bye